Dear students, welcome back to Beat Oxygen Academy. I am Nakul Sheth. In this video, I will discuss some of the important MCQs over here, and this video will be helpful for computer and IT students of diploma and degree. So watch this video till the end, and let us begin with our first question. So the first question is, which of the following component of Android is working as a presentation layer for your application? And the options are. intent services content providers and activities and the correct answer is activities because in a single activity a developer is going to use different views like text view edit text spinner and so on so that it is known as presentation layer next question is which of the following component of android is working as invisible workers and the options are intent services content providers and activities and the correct answer is services services are known as invisible workers in android because services are run as background processes and it can't visible to users next question is which of the following android component is used to manage and store applications database and the options are intent services content providers and activities and the correct answer is content providers because content providers are known as shareable data stores in android which is used to share data across the application boundaries so the next question we have which of the following android component is used as inter application message passing framework and the options are intent services content providers or activities and the correct answer is intent because intent is used to pass data between two activities in a single application next question is which of the following application component is used to bind our application to home screen and the option we have widgets services content providers or activities and the correct answer is widget as widgets are the components in android which is used to embed our home screen to our android application so the next question is which of the following method is working as similar as main method in android and the options are on create on start on resume or on main and the correct answer is on create because an activity will begin its execution by making call on on create method and the next question is how many files will be include in a single android activity and the options are 1 2 3 and 4 and the correct answer is 2 why because the first file is activity_main.xml and the second file is main_activity.java next question which of the following file is used to create gui in android activity underscore main dot xml android manifest dot xml string dot xml or all of the above and the correct answer is activity underscore main dot xml so the next question we have which method is used to assign user interface to a dot java file and the options we have set content view on create set layout or none of the above and the correct answer is set content view method as per the parameter of this set content view method we are going to pass gui file such as set content view in bracket r dot layout dot activity underscore main next question which of the following class will be extend to create an activity in android and the options are activity intent broadcast receiver and services and the correct answer is activity next question is android os or android operating system will keep track of all of the running activities in stack queue linked list or doubly linked list and the correct answer is stack because android os will keep track of all of the running activity by placing them into a single activity stack next question is where we can create gui at run time which is defined in xml and the options are main activity.java activity_main.xml 
स्टाइल डॉट एक्स एम एल एंड द लास्ट वन इज एंड्रॉइड मैनिफेस्ट डॉट एक्स एम एल एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज मेन एक्टिविटी डॉट जावा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेथड विल एक्सिक्यूट वेन एन एक्टिविटी कम्स इन फोरग्राउंड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड द ऑप्शन आर ऑन क्रिएट ऑन स्टार्ट ऑन रिज्यूम और ऑन पोज एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑन क्रिएट बिकॉज ऑन क्रिएट इज द फर्स्ट मैथड टू बी कॉल्ड बाय द एंड्रॉइड कंपाइलर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट एन एक्टिविटी विल पार्शियली विजिबल टू यूजर एंड द ऑप्शन आर रनिंग पॉस्ट स्टॉप और किल्ड एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज पॉस्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट एन एक्टिविटी इज विजिबल एंड इंटरेक्ट विद द यूजर एंड द ऑप्शन आर रनिंग पॉज स्टॉप और किल्ड एंड द आंसर इज रनिंग स्टेट नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट एंड एक्टिविटी इज नॉट विजिबल टू यूजर बट इट्स इंस्टेंस इज टूल रनिंग इन द बैकग्राउंड एंड द ऑप्शन आर रनिंग पॉस्ट स्टॉप और किल्ड एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज स्टॉप स्टेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन After execution of finish method, an activity will be running state, pause state, stop state, or kill state. And the correct answer is kill state. Next question is which of the following method will execute when the activity becomes visible to user? And the option we have on create, on start, on pause, or on resume. And the correct answer is on start. Next question is. Which method will execute when an activity gets visible again in the foreground? And the option we have on create, on start, on pause, and on resume. And the correct answer is on resume. Next question is which of the following method will execute after an activity will stop forcefully by the user? And the options are on create, on start, on destroy, or on resume. and the correct answer is on destroy when you are going to kill on button called force stop then on destroy method will be called so the next question is which of the following component is used to navigate one activity to another activity and the options are activity intent content providers or navigators and the answer is intent next question Which of the following is a valid method to navigate main activity to second activity and the options are intent i equals to new intent main activity dot this comma second activity dot java and then start activity in bracket i next option intent i equals to new intent main activity dot this comma second activity dot class then after start activity in bracket intent next option start activity new intent main activity dot this comma second activity dot class and the last option we have start activity in bracket new intent main activity dot this comma second activity dot this and the correct answer is c which is start activity in bracket new intent in bracket main activity dot this comma second activity dot class because other three options will generate compile time error so the correct syntax to navigate one activity to another activity is displayed in option c only next question is each and every activity that you have created in application must be declared in activity_main.xml file r.java file main activity.java file or android manifest.xml file and the correct answer is android manifest.xml file because android manifest.xml file is working as an interface between os and your application next question newly created activity will be created under application tag activity tag manifest tag or intent filter tag and the correct answer is activity tag in activity tag there is an attribute named name and we can define that activity in manifest file by using android colon name equals to in double quotation dot main activity next question by which method we can pass data between two activities and the options are set content view pass data put extra and last get extra and the correct answer is 
put extra method next question how to create a broadcast receiver in android and the options are by extending broadcast services class by extending service class by extending broadcast receiver class or by extending activity class and the correct answer is by extending broadcast receiver class next question is which of the following tag is used to register a broadcast receiver and the options are activity intent filters receivers or application and the correct answer is receiver next question is in which of the following is used to indicate low battery condition on the device and the options are activity broadcast receivers services or all of the above and the correct answer is broadcast receivers because broadcast receivers are used to respond a broadcast message from other application or from system itself next question which method is used to send custom broadcast from activity to our broadcast receiver and the options are start activity start broadcast receiver send broadcast receiver or send broadcast and the correct answer is send broadcast so this is how we can send broadcast by using this method first we have to create an object of intent class then we are going to call set action method to send broadcast message to our android operating system and then we are going to use set broadcast method to send this custom broadcast to broadcast receiver class next and the last question is which method is used to obtain an object of intent into second activity and the options are put extra get intent receive intent none of the above and the correct answer is get intent so this is it for today's video i hope you have liked this video do like and share this video as it is also part of your mcq online preparations to subscribe our youtube channel beat oxygen academy click on the bell icon for regular update from our channel you can also follow us on facebook instagram and twitter so thank you for watching this video keep learning stay happy bye